Does sunscreen SPF actually matter? I bought every sunscreen ranging from 10 to 100 SPF to see if there's a difference. Lather me up, boys. All right, I'm fully coated. I'm gonna figure out whether or not these companies are scamming you. 15 minutes. 30 minutes. Honestly, I feel like I'm immune to the sun. 45 minutes. It's been an hour. The first half of them are starting to feel really hot. Hour and 15 minutes. Hour and 30 minutes. Uh, hour and 45 minutes. Hour two. <gasps> No. 90 did the worst. Nothing is consistent. Let's test this a little bit more scientifically. Let's test SPF 15 to 60 to see how much UV the sunscreens actually cut out. To do this, we have a UV light meter right here from General that will objectively measure the amount of UV light that reaches this sensor right here. This meter measures the amount of UVA and UVB that reaches the sensor from 280 to 400 nanometers. The average body surface area of a human is 16,168 centimeters squared. The face and neck make up about 4.5 of the total surface area. Based on the one teaspoon rule for sunscreen on the head and neck, it works out to be about five mils. To scale this down to the UV meter size, it calculates to 1.25 ml for a surface area of 13.5 by 13.5 centimeters. We're going to use saran wrap to simulate human skin so that we can measure how much UV is passing through onto the sensor. I'll be applying sunscreen right on top. So guys, as you can see, it is a super bright and sunny day today. There is literally not a cloud in the sky. So let's see how much UV we're registering here on this UV meter. It's averaging right now about 3650. All right, let's check how much UV this saran wrap blocks. Okay, so we're registering around on average 3,300. Hey guys, so now we're gonna do the moisturizer. So remember our baseline with saran wrap was 3,300. So I put it on here, I've spread it out and it's averaging around 2,400. So even just moisturizer alone is blocking some of the UV rays. Let's see how much UV is cut out by Hawaiian Tropics SPF 15. Wow, okay, this is really exciting, guys. That just cut down the UV from 2400 to 103. That's like a huge drop. Okay, let's see if we can get even better. Let's try out SPF 30. This is the Banana Boat Daily Protect. This is amazing. Okay, we're down to a UV intensity of 30. We're gonna move on to SPF 45. All right, so this is a little bit disappointing. It's really no different from the SPF 30. It's like registering at 30 as well. We're gonna step it up all the way to SPF 60. All right, so this is bringing it down a notch further. We're now at a reading of about 25, which is, I'd say, pretty good. Let's see if we can bring it down even further with a tinted mineral sunscreen, SPF 60. <laughs> this is the winner! Woohoo! This comes down all the way to 15. That's amazing. Okay, I'm using this every day for the rest of my life. This is two years past its expiry date. So let's see, does expired sunscreen still work? And the answer is yes. Look at this. The UV meter's down to 30, just like the other SPF 50. So apparently there's still some benefit if all you have left is expired sunscreen. Spray on sunscreen, does this stuff work? Reading at 30, just like the other SPF 50s. What about UPF clothing? This is a shirt that I bought from Amazon. It's a UPF 50 shirt. So let's take a look, see how good it is. Just what one sheet here we're gonna do. Well, that is pretty awesome. I mean, that brought it down to like 20, 22. That's like pretty close to the SPF 50, even better than just the sunscreen alone. And this sunscreen SPF 30, the banana boat, has been sitting outside on my back patio in the concrete in direct sunlight for the past one hour. So let's see if it still works. It still works after a whole hour in the sun. You can see here, the reading is at 30, which is what it was before. Sunscreen still works after an hour in direct sun. So I had a lot of fun doing that little scientific experiment in my backyard, and I hope you guys had fun following along too. Let's talk about what just happened. As you guys can see with our results, even with SPF 30, the amount of UV light that's cut out is over 97%, which is exactly in line with the studies and what sunscreen brands are telling you. Even with a thin layer of SPF 30, this can also protect your skin from the vast amount of UV light. To be honest, there's a few things that surprised me after doing this experiment. 
experiment. The first is that the amount of UV light blocked by SPF 30, 45, 50, and 60 was pretty similar. That's actually not that surprising based on the fact that between SPF 30 and 60, it's really only about a one to 2% difference. The second is mineral tinted sunscreen was by far the best performing sunscreen. This is why we dermatologists keep recommending this like a broken record. The third was spray sunscreens. This was surprisingly comparable to lotions and creams. If you have hairy arms or legs or kids that won't sit still, this could still be a decent option. I don't like the amount of product that's wasted when applying it and it really shouldn't be applied in like a poorly ventilated room or if you're outside on a windy day. What I think this experiment really showcased is that sunscreen really works to block out UV light. Even if you apply a tiny amount of sunscreen instead of the recommended amount, you still get some protection. In our experiment, a small dab was about SPF 15. Efficacy of sunscreen is maintained even after an hour in direct sun. It's still important to reapply, especially if you're sweating or swimming. The other thing was expired sunscreen in our experiment still worked. I don't recommend using expired products, but if it's all you've got on hand, it's still better than nothing. UPF 50 clothing was also highly effective and basically as good as applying sunscreen. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed going through this scientific experiment with me. If you found any value, please do leave us a like and subscribe to my channel and let me know your thoughts on sunscreen in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, stay sun safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Sunscreen really does work.